In every horror game you play the big hero who's chased by some monster. What if we flip the scripts and you're the predator? We've got exactly 3 days to make that a reality. We need to look for a map first, a location where a monster could thrive. Maybe a school... or a forest. This one looks good enough. Alright, we've uploaded the map into Unity and it looks pretty decent. Definitely fits the theme of a horror game. Yeah, the whole vibe isn't quite there yet, but that'll change soon. We've got some bushes we can hide behind, some trees... But it looks a little too nice with the flowers and stuff. So it's time to make the visuals more creepy. Step 1. We've made everything a little darker. We're just gonna add a vignette now and some grain. And look at that! Would you have the courage to walk through this forest at night? Oh hell no! Step 2. Put on some creepy music and bam. Good thing is that we're the only creeps here. Maybe shouldn't have said that. The graphics look pretty fitting now. Um, let's just call that a feature. Other than that, it does a monster's vision justice. Fixing that, we added this player movement template from Unity, which comes quite in handy. And with some tweaking, the player movement is very monstery now. You can literally sprint at your victims. Still sounds very, very wrong. We're still talking about game development. How about some fog to really finish the vibe? That's not really fog, more like snowballs attacking you. That's too much fog. Although, never mind. It fits the theme, so we're just gonna keep it for now. Alright, we've got everything set up for the monster vibe. Now, what is the best victim to scare in your own horror game? Obviously, a little girl. Don't ask any questions. Bam! It's a pretty big little girl. Not really what we expected, but nothing a little scaling can fix. Now, that's a normal size, right? What the hell? It's time to include you in the game plan. Normally, monsters have some cool gimmicks in games, or some messages like in Slenderman. Because we're the monsters, we need to fulfill our duties and set up some traps and creepy stuff ourselves. Meanwhile, while the little girl is looking for an exit out of the forest. Now there's a slight problem we're facing right now. There are two ways for the girl to walk around. Either set up an AI that makes the girl randomly walk around, or set up some waypoints to know exactly where she will go. The problem though is that the trees are basically integrated into the whole map, so the Unity AI doesn't see the trees as actual game objects. So instead of colliding, the girl would just walk through the trees. You could now either give every single tree a new body basically, or opt for the easier but lamer version of adding waypoints. You know what? We're just gonna do both. And because we only have two days left, this has to be done quickly. To follow our plan, we have like three hours max to finish that. Stuff like that can make coding seem very intimidating, but it doesn't have to be. We made a free PDF for you if you want to start coding or finally want to get consistent with it. First link in the description if you want to check it out. Alright, a quick explanation. We customize our map a bit so the girl won't be colliding with any trees in sight. We're still gonna implement the AI of the girl, but just give it a certain area where she can walk around, aka waypoints, so it's kind of both integrated into one. The blue area is where she can actually walk around. It's a little bit lazy if you know how it works, but we don't have much time left, alright? After some debugging, it actually only took 2 hours to finish the AI, which is a huge thing. To prevent the game from seriously lagging, we baked the light map, meaning how the light behaves is calculated beforehand. Apparently, there's a little problem with this rock right here. I mean, what is going on? We're just gonna delete it later. But we're gonna make a secret easter egg right here where the rock was. We just have to model something in Blender to add it. Uh, okay, we're gonna come back to that side project. Next up, as monsters, we need to add our tasks. We've made this little paper and thought of some things to do. We need to change the direction of some signs so the little girl gets lost, turn off the lights and attach some paper to a tree, Slenderman style. We're gonna tackle the paper task first, because it's probably the easiest thing to do right now. We're just gonna set up some paper spots that you can see by this very obvious indication. It even goes through walls, but the random distance is so low that you can't see all of them, so it's fine. You can press E to attach a paper and then the shiny thing will disappear. Now let's test everything. Oh yeah, apparently you can fly. To make the game a little easier for us, let's whip up something in Blender. A little arrow should be good enough as an indicator. The arrow will just point to a paper spot so you won't just be wandering off somewhere. And this is how it looks in game. I mean, it's pretty basic, but it works. We already have Blender open, so we can also continue our little side project. We've got the basic shape down now. Pretty sure you can kind of guess what it is already. After watching countless tutorials, we are also now capable of making fake cracks. That's good progress for now. Let's leave it that way. Let's move on to the next task, turning off the streetlights. We just put the first streetlight right there. Some unity magic and we made the streetlight actually shine light. And come on, it does look kind of sick. Kind of reminds me of the scene in Spongebob. Love candy dispenser. But maybe that's just me. It's time to put on some more on the path the girl actually walks on. Alright, that is done now as well. You can see them fairly easily as long as you don't get lost. And yes, you can still fly. It was kind of funny, so we decided to keep it in the game. It's officially a feature now. So far, the girl has just been kind of sliding on the ground. It was time to give her actual life and rig her body. 
Making a custom animation for her would have taken hours, but luckily there are websites that do that for us. There are even quite a few walking animations to choose from. There's this normal one, the one after a couple of drinks, and whatever this is. We're just gonna take the normal one for now. Although the drunk one would have been funny as well. She looks more lively now in game. Don't know if that's a good thing or just makes it harder for us to eat her. We're still her nightmare monster after all. It's time to finish our honor for the rock we deleted. Slap on some text, RIP my boy. Let's change the base color of everything. And it's pretty obvious what it is by now. Add some nice features and it's almost done. But before doing that, there's one feature we haven't talked to you about yet. You're the monster who hunts her down, but she should also have a way of winning as well. What we did was add a radius around her that is indicated by this little light. If you step into her range before finishing the task, you'll lose the game. We now need to add the last task, changing the direction of some signs. Full disclosure, full honesty, we kind of forgot to record the whole process. But at least this is how it looks in game. There are some signs across the map and you can just change the direction of them. Nothing too fancy, but we had like 12 hours left, so no time for that. With our creative minds, we also made two end screens. We first looked for a monster that is supposed to represent us, and this one looks very fitting. And here it is in action. This is how the end screen looks when you win, which shouldn't be too hard to do. You're kind of standing behind her if you couldn't tell. And this is the screen for when she actually wins and you lose. And I mean, come on, it's pretty embarrassing when you lose as a monster against a little girl. While doing that, we also finished the tombstone for our rock. We're gonna place it somewhere very hidden, and there you go. Our little easter egg is finally in game. And that's pretty much it. The whole game is done. Click on this video to watch us make another game, and bye.